Hey there, Rootsuit family, it's Ryan here, and as you can see, I'm not exactly in the same location. I'm down in my basement, but I thought that filming in the basement would actually be a really interesting metaphor for the new year. This past weekend, we spent a good chunk of our time emptying out a couple of the rooms in the basement because we have a contractor who's gonna come in and do some work for us. We do have some cosmetic changes in mind. We wanna change the walls a little bit. We wanna rip up the carpet and put down something a little bit fresher and a little bit more comfortable to, to walk and sit on. But ultimately, there's also some repairs that we have to make down here. In fact, just over my shoulder, we have a section of wall where water has filtrated through and bubbled the plaster over time. Now, it's a two-phase problem. We wanna fix the aesthetics on the inside and we want to eventually in the springtime dig up the front of the house and put down some waterproof membranes so that we can stop water from getting in altogether. Over the next couple of weeks we have a contractor coming in and he's going to frame the walls and put up some insulation, put up some drywall. So we're going to have slightly smaller rooms but hopefully it'll be a little warmer down here and there'll be a little bit less water damage overall. Oh, and get rid of the spiders. But here's the thing. If push came to shove, we could live down here. The basement is finished. All of the walls are up, it's painted, all the electrical works, there is a carpet. We could live down here if we wanted to. In that regard, it's a little bit like New Year's. When things change from December to January, from one year to the next, you can choose to keep things status quo. Or when you move into a new house or when you move into a new year, you can take advantage of that kind of new fresh energy that comes with the changing of the calendars or the changing of the house. You can reinvent yourself, you can drop the things that you don't like and you can work on adding things that you wanna be. It can be new, it can be exciting, it can be scary, it can be overwhelming, it can be all of these things, it can be none of these things. You can't be awesome every day. In fact, that's what this project's about. It's not about reaching a level of awesomeness that you're just gonna stay at. No, it's it's about a process. It's about adding in the things that you wanna have. It's about removing the things that are no longer useful for yourself. And yeah, sure, sometimes, you know, you don't hit your goals or sometimes you don't feel very awesome. But you know what? There's always an opportunity to start over. Day one can be just one sleep away and like a basement, you can live with it, but if you're not happy with it, well then tear it down strip it down to the studs and start over. Who knows, if this doesn't work out, maybe I'll turn my half of Stay Awesome into a millennial DIY vlogging series of how to do home repairs when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, the old year is done. It's a new year, new rules, and new possibilities. Let's see where it takes us. Stay awesome.